It's just a handful left of things I found um, in the case under the stairs. It was a very big case. This is some of them. I've got one other item as well. But they're all very cute little things, and some of them I haven't got anywhere else in my collection. There's others are spares, so let's just show them one at a time. The first one is a twirl drum, which I'd completely forgotten I had. I did show a twirl drum past, but of course this adds another feature, because inside is a battery. Inside there is a battery, so it lights up, and for small children, in the dark at night, that is very nice because you're getting red and white lights from the fact that when it's the lights coming through the um, red plastic, it looks that colour. So lots of fun for small children because it makes a good noise and it's lighting up. That adds quite a nice feature to it. I like it when they add, add something to it. Here's old, um, a well-known character. It's going to show he's a barrel walker. About there we are. Ooh, steady. Give him a bit more wine. It's a nice old wind up toy actually. What I like about it is the barrel itself has got little move little um, pieces on it raised, so when you hold it up like that, you can see it hissy go pad 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 pad. There's a gently moving up and down with the thing. It's a nice little touch to that, so I think that's a good design of um, of a little wind up. Here's one which is a, a tin toy. Um, and it's it's extremely well executed. It's showing a man who's um, set up a, a, a pump and he's penetrated a pipe down to the water table and now he's going to start pumping water up, which is going to come gushing out of this green bit here. That's the idea. And it certainly occurs. I'll see if I can turn it a few times there, but it's best done this way, actually. So I'll get into focus. A nice effect, that. Very nicely executed. Lots of little things that move up and down with it, and of course it's, re it's, 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 it's realistic, you know, it's something that actually occurs and comes. There's another one here which is um, the Wonder Rulers of Japan, which I bought lots and lots of these, but I think these are the two best ones I'd like to show. Each of them is just, um, it's, a, it's a ruler, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a, a measure at the top, but they're all lenticular, so this one is Arab's um, I'm going to get it in focus first. And now if I start moving it up and down, you get some nice movement of the cameras with their legs. And the movement of the herdsman at the front of the thing, it's come across there, you see, all the way back to the train at the back of the depths of the desert. The smallest ones are so small, you can't see. Oh, look, look, look. And even the trees are waving about and joining in the fun. Isn't that nice? So a very nice version of a, something that kids could take to the um, school as a ruler, but there's a play value there as well. And this last one um, is gymnast gymnastics. These are all Olympic type gymnastics. Swinging on bars, weightlifting, hammer throwing, football of course, boxing, swimming. And we've even got some old oh, gymnastics at the end, that's very nice. So it's, 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 this is going back to the 1980s, so a long way back when lenticulation was really gathering pace as the, as the plastics of where making the lenses came up. And there were about 50 or 60 of these. I've got about 30 in my collection of, which I think these are the two, two nicest, really. Um, uh, made, all made by the Wonder Company of Japan. Now, there's one last thing here, which is a very odd thing indeed. See if you can guess what it's for. It's called Orvis. That's what it says, Orbis. And it's something, there's a channel in there. It's something possibly for the kitchen or the chopping surface. No, it's not sharp enough for that. And there's no weights there either. It's no good for chopping that. It's got a good strong handle to it and nothing else. It's got a most unlikely usage, this thing. It's something you use outdoors in a big field with people standing behind you uh, holding rifles. Well, would you believe this is a Ritz cracker thrower? Ritz crackers, uh, um, don't eat it. Comes in boxes like this. I've just bought a box the other day to start play with it. What you do is you put it into the cracker, into the into the cracker thrower. It's got a very rough 
there's a great roughness at the bottom edge so that when it comes out fast, it won't slide like that without moving. It has to roll and it's going to come out really fast. Like a whiplash, the last bit here is coming out really very considerable speed indeed with a very, very powerful, very, very, very fast turning rotational energy like that. It's turned and flattened and it flies through the air quite a long way, in fact, because it's quite it's stable. So it's a lot of fun, that, but it's really meant, I suppose, perhaps with air rifles, perhaps with shotguns, I don't know. But it's, it's meant to be um, for just sheer fun, I suppose it is. We had a lot of fun with this in the um, early 90s when I was attending a gathering for Gardner, my first one, I think. We're not the present hotel, but a large hotel in Middle Atlanta, huge atrium, and they're having such fun. I had a couple of these. We're throwing them across the um, balconies in this enormous atrium, 150 foot tall and yards and yards wide, across to each other and catching them and putting them in mouse and eating them, etc., etc. It was a lot of fun that I suppose a few did drop to the ground and made a bit of um, clearing up for the staff, but they're very tolerant and they enjoy watching us. It does fly very well indeed. I'll just see if I can make this fly across the. Um, kitchen to the south side. Here we go. Oh! oh my God. That was a hard cracker.